Cobra Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts. Chapter 24, Labor. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 2414. During the enjoyment of leisure, avoid all burdensome and unnecessary visits. Avoid the acclaim of the fickle multitude, which fawns upon the famous and notorious. For its acclaim has no substance. It is a garland of wind. NPR 2415. Let leisure and pleasure never be overdone, and remember that pleasures oft repeated become worrisome. Let them be healthy and refreshing, but spend no time upon them unduly, nor make them your whole life. NPR 2416. The joyful man labors diligently to fulfill his allotted task, but to the sad man toil is a drug which removes him from the misery within himself. When labor is undertaken to provide for the needs of living or for satisfaction, then it is a natural activity. A slave is not always one who is bound. NPR 2417 The knowledge and skill men gain to follow their craft suffice to provide for daily needs, but one of the knowledge which will deliver them from the yoke of life is that not the greatest attainment. In today's society, our young see the rich and celebrities as role models, because they only see the glitz that is far better than what is offered by real life. They will attempt to live up to their role models, failing to understand they only get to see a character, not a person. By the time they do see the real person, they will have been discouraged themselves, trying to emulate a fantasy. Then they will turn on the role model that they never should have picked. What did the parents teach as they grew up? Those role models taught them it's not about right and wrong, but who you know and what you can offer. They told them, you are nothing without position and prestige. So they see you struggling in day-to-day -day life and are disgusted. A few generations down, after they start to be discouraged, they will then look to society to take up the burden. Society is not best for instilling a moral code. How do you find a one-size-fits-all moral code that also respects free will? How many generations before even that grows worse, and people get angry at government and fail to realize the answer to all of this is sleeping in your homes. You're raising them, and you had a decade to do it. A society is sending checks, yet not requiring parents to raise the children. We look to school to be mothers and police to be fathers. Then, when they try and do the job, the arrogant parents will rush in and demand punishment of those we are paying to do the job, they won't. What exactly are we supposed to teach the child? Beating them is not the answer. Ignoring them isn't. Or being inconsistent certainly will not help. The courts and society can only house them until the day they stop being a burden on society. And they can't make them into a functional member of society. You had a decade, and all you left them was a phone number. To a person long dead. Eight decades later, we never actually created anything. Just tore down what we found flawed because we believed in illusion offered by role models that they never met. That is what the West has done. You can whine to others, but it will not make things better. Look in a mirror, or you will never find the answers you seek.